Hi to everyone, your Power Al here with some more Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, there really isn't any birthday or holiday to celebrate, but today is still a special day. Today marks the one year anniversary that we started living here on Aerith. Yeah, we've uh, come a long way since we started on this, this small part of the island and then eventually expanded into the other parts. And since this is the one year anniversary, I just want to spend my time just doing a few things. First off, uh, there was an update. One of the things, oh, look at that, Isabelle is sleeping. Uh, one of the things that was included with this update involves redeeming some, uh, some Nook Miles. So now there is the custom design pro editor, which gives you more slots for designs. So that's neat. I think it gives you like over a hundred different designs. Which is nice for the people that do do that. I really only have a few extra, or I've only made like a few designs. But yeah, it's it's neat for those that are really into that customization. And there is a lot like that goes into making things, especially if you are just super creative with that. Anyways, the next thing I can get here with Nook Miles is the custom designs portal so now we don't need to go to the um to the able sisters i believe so that's neat actually kind of want to check that out just to make sure i know what i'm talking about but yeah and i don't know if you've noticed or anything but the outfit i'm wearing is the outfit that i arrived onto this island with Minus the bag, that was an addition that came later. But, uh, let's see. So, custom designs portal. Somewhere here, right? Where would I access that? Right here? I think so. Yeah, right there. So, we can upgrade a whole ton of other things. Okay, 50 additional slots. And what was it? Uh, let's see. We can customize face cutouts, flags, and... Umbrellas and Uchiwa fans. Cool. 50 extra slots, which is nice. And then press X to open up the custom designs portal. That's cool. Anyways, I did also uh, catch some new sea creatures. Turban, snail, and spider crab. Spider crab was really, really annoying to get. But yeah. Uh, you know what? Let's, uh, let's talk to Isabella and Tom Nook. Let's let's wake her up from her little snooze. It's great to see you. How can I help? Um, let's see. Sure, let's uh, see what my island evaluation is. I haven't really checked up on that. Three star rating. Okay. See solid reputation. Let me read an excerpt from feedback that I gathered. See, it's been growing real nice, like a big tree that's getting plenty of love and care. I don't know about that, <laughs> since I don't really play often, but... Oh well. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with having a three-star island. Just because, like, again, I haven't really played much. And now, Tom Nook. Let's see. What do you have to say? And also, I, of course, uh, did my daily routine and stuff. Let's see, this is the construction consultant consultation. Oh, uh, what should I do? That is the question. Let's see. I mean, I do have a loan to pay off, which isn't the last thing I could do for the house. I mean, I could get another one after I pay this one to expand my storage, but eh, I'll, I'll pay those off on my own time, really. And one thing I noticed, I didn't want to pick this up just yet. I wanted to wait until I started recording, but when I was doing my daily routine, I noticed that there was a lost item. It's around here somewhere. Nope, didn't pick up that stick, apparently. Yeah, right over here, next to this incomplete uh, diorama of the Megalo thing. Giant, creepy dinosaur deer. I don't know. But we have a lost item here. I'll find who it belongs to later. I just want to quickly head on over to the Able Sisters, since it's been a bit since I've seen them. 
Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. Um, let's start off by talking to Mabel. We change our lineup every day. And that's it. Then we have Sable. Yep, I've been helping out. And of course, the two custom designs I've made, at least for clothes. Uh, the Clover and Sea Life shirt and the Space Boyfriend shirt because, you know. Love Jamie's music. And why not? Let's, let's buy clothes again just because I'm here. Whenever I do vids, I try to make sure to buy at least something just because I feel bad. Um, I mean, it's not like I'm really going to wear any of this, but sure, brown flight jacket. Why not? And then the next order of business, I guess, would be to go see Blathers. Now, I'm pretty sure I've made note of this, but... I did start, like, laying out a path here because I do have a general idea of, like, what I want the paths to look like, where I want them to lead to, and just general aesthetics for the island. It's just, I never really got around to doing that. Also, I missed the fossil. Huh. Okay, then. Why not? Let, let's have Blathers appraise this one. But yeah, Blathers... Of course, he's up here. Never finished this path either. An idea was to just have like a ramp leading up here and have this be like a lookout spot, which is neat. I mean, there's a little telescope up there. But yeah, Blathers. As for the museum itself, though, the museum really wasn't completed. I mean, I'm missing a ton of stuff. But uh, let's see. Uh, sure. Assess this fossil. If it's like the last half of giant dinosaur deer, I, I'd be fine with that. But if it's not, then I don't really care. In Archelon tail. Archelon? Archelon. I don't know. But I already have that. I, I already completed all the fossils. And let's, uh, let's, let's take a look at the museum. I mean, again, I'm missing a ton of stuff, but that's fine. I am at least glad that I did complete the fossil collection. There's a ton of fossils and it it helps that the game like spawns them every day like four fossils per uh per day. And if you haven't played in a while then it'll just have six fossils until <laughs> until uh you dig them up and then wait until next time. But yeah, the fossil collection is completed. Again, looking really, really nice. A lot of really cool things here. Now, where, where's the plesiosaur? That's that's my favorite thing. I think it's like on the side here. But, eh, whatever. But the fossil, the fossil collection is probably my favorite aspect of collecting things. There's the deer thing. And again, I love how... Um, how if you go here I, I think it's like right here yeah like the spotlight shines on you that's a neat little touch but yeah other than that in terms of bugs i guess i can just go over my compendium what is it called uh critterpedia yeah i'm missing a ton of sea creatures i think that's a little about half then here's all the the fish I'm missing, and then all the bugs. I caught most of the bugs, but I, I missed out on a good portion of them just because I never kept up with it. But still, let, let's show off all of those exhibits because might as well see the bugs, the fish, and also the artwork in all of its glory. I know I've said this before, but I really love how each of these different sections of the museum are laid out to just show everything. So like how this is all full of trees and whatnot with like a little river going through. It just really lends itself well to displaying everything. It's one of my favorite parts of New Horizons just going into the museum even more so than when I played through New Leaf. And I really like the museum in New Leaf there which I also never completed except for the fossil collection.
And also, this room is really cool with all the fountains. Just, uh, sitting here with all these bugs floating around. It's neat. Of course, the fish section is really, really cool, too. I like how they uh, updated to show all of the sea creatures that you found. I, I think that's in later sections, but still, this place is also really neat. Oh, I like how the waterfall just, like, flows down like that. I never noticed that. Huh. And then this area is also really cool. How you can just walk through this tunnel and see everything. It'd be really cool to see in first person, honestly. Aquariums are really cool. And then little iceberg with... I think those are sea angels? And then my favorite part of the fish section. So right over here, a ton of really cool fish, like sharks and all that. But more, more importantly is the coelacanth, which is right over here, which is like my favorite fish that I've- Is that the spider crab? Ooh, neat. Thing is huge and actually legitimately terrifying. As cool as sea life is in general, it's really scary sometimes, because you don't know what's down there. Oh well. And last but not least is the art exhibit. This is definitely the section that is lacking the most. But I, I think I got a good number of exhibits here. Because there's more than just paintings. There's like sculptures and statues and whatnot. But yeah. I've made sure, like, every time I've seen Red, that I've gotten at least one new painting, except for the times where he doesn't have anything new for me, or it's just all fake. But, still, really cool. Really cool addition. Which, I mean, I don't know why it needed an update for, but I'm not the one that worked on this game. Can't forget seeing uh, Timmy and Tommy, because, you know... They're also part of this island as well. And I, I do need to sell a couple of things here. Just those two, really. That's... I mean, that's a decent amount of bells. I'm not worried about my total amount of bells. Ooh, that's neat. Not door AC. Eh, don't really need it. Oh well. Let's leave. I mean, I've done everything I wanted to do here, but it's nice seeing you two again. And now that that's done, the next thing on the agenda is to just talk to everyone that lives here. We have a full island, basically, and it'd be nice to see everyone. Is there someone just chilling here? Yeah, that's Avery. What's up? I know it's been a while since I've talked to everyone, but still. And I want to see who this belongs to. Hopefully, it, I mean, it'd be nice if I were to get it on my first try. But I'm not too worried. Audie. Okay. I think she's across the bridge. No, that's that's not Audie, but sure. What's up, Sprinkle? Yeah, that's my nickname around here lately. Just lucky. I haven't been avoiding everyone. I mean, I kind of have. I've been avoiding the game. Or not avoiding it, but I just haven't been playing it. What's the latest? King of Sliders here. It is Saturday. Okay. And now... Where are you? There you are. Okay. One month? Really? Whoops. Oh well. Let's see. I have this. Avery said this belonged to you. It's a comic. Oh, cool. I don't really need a reward, but... Oh well, I'll take it. Pretty fobbies are orange. Yep. Who's in here? No, you're outside. Okay. Well, at least, uh... Looks like... Uh... Ozzy is inside. What? Oh, you're sleeping. What's up, Ozzy? It's been a while. 
Wanna fit you in my tummy. Okay then. Something up, I haven't been paying attention. Uh, let's talk. Your friend... <laughs> yeah, I've been... On my off time, I've been playing with a friend of mine. So yeah, that's neat. Okay, so... Who else do we have to talk to? I mean, I guess I'll just talk to them as I see them. But I know there's quite a few... Gathered in the square, just because... We got good old buddy here playing Panchetti. Yeah, it's been a while since we've talked, but also I don't really know you that well because you were the last person to arrive on the island and that was after I was just not playing regularly. Yeah, I, I like the shirt. It's what I arrived on this island with. Had to dust it off. No, I haven't been avoiding everyone. I'm sorry. None of you annoy me. See how Resident Services works hard in the background? I believe it. They've been doing a good job. While well, I've not been. And Knox. Good old Knox. I'm sorry I forgot your birthday, especially because, like I've mentioned before, you were in my town in New Leaf. I didn't mean to forget you, but it happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> Looks like Marshall is home, so let's go visit him. And, of course, there's only two residents left to talk to. And these two are very special residents to me, because they were the first two that were on this island with me. And I am talking about our good old workout buddy, Snake. What's up? Oh, you're busy. How are you doing? Yeah, we haven't caught up lately, but I've been busy. I've been pretty busy. Uh, what are you, what are you making? A beekeeper's hive? On your 53rd mile. Huh. Um. I don't think I actually know this recipe. Yeah. I, I guess I'll I'll take it. But you know what? Oh, I already know it. Okay. It's been fun having you around, Snake. I wasn't too sure when I first came here and saw that Snake was one of the first two that I'd be living with, but I really enjoyed having Snake around. Some workout ninja bunny jock thing. He's neat. He's a good animal. And the last one I want to talk to is Canberra. Ooh, I like what you've done with the place. It's really colorful. Having Canberra on the island was also a treat. I wasn't really sure if I'd like her either alongside Snake, but these two, these two are great. I really enjoyed having both of them as my, uh, as my first neighbors. So what's up? If you need something to hear out your troubles or even a shoulder to cry on, just let me know. Well, that's good to know. Well, it's been a wild ride. I'm sure I've learned something that can help you. Yeah. Canberra, I enjoyed having around. And again, I really like the whole colorful kitty motif. It's very childlike, but it's neat. And now... I guess the last thing I really want to do is just show off the house as unimpressive as it is. Because, I mean, it's where where we've been staying. Also, yeah, it's been a year since we started. I don't know what this present is, but let's see what it is. A first anniversary cake. Okay, sure, why not? Now, this room has pretty much stayed the same. Nothing really new to it. This room, I don't think I've really done anything here either. I like how we spent all these bells to just expand the house, but I really haven't done anything to any of these extra rooms just yet. It's something I 
might do later on. But so far, the house really has just been two rooms that have been decorated. This doesn't count. J just this yo sup thing. Because, you know, yo sup. But, yeah, other than that, like, only two of the one, two, three, four, uh, six rooms possible have been decorated. Maybe this one? Did I start this one? I don't know. I kind of did. There's a sink here. <laughs> then upstairs. I don't think there's anything up here. I had some ideas. I still do have some ideas here for what I want each of these rooms to be like, but haven't really executed them. And down here is the one that really has had the most work put into it. Down here is like a downstairs gym area, which I've shown off before. I mean, there's like a place where you can bench press. I think those are 35s or 45s, maybe? I don't know. Got, got a little kettlebell here, a punching bag that you can punch. Punching bag, treadmill bike machine, this thing where you can do pull-ups and other stretches, locker, a volleyball because you know, high Q is neat and it got me into volleyball, and an exercise ball. Then of course, um, your little uh, protein powder there, and some water to cool off. This is the room that has had like the most work done to it, and I actually like how it turned out. I think there's some other things I could add to it, but for now, I really like it. But you know what? We have the anniversary cake, so let's go, uh, let's go place it here and blow out our candles and light them up again. It's a really cool cake. It's a really nice way to just celebrate being on this island for a year. Also, I have a Melba poster. I don't remember where I got that. But, yeah. And the reason why I've been showing all of this is because with everything I've shown off with the game, I think this is a fitting time to end off this series. We've had a ton of fun in Aerith, a ton of fun showing off pretty much everything I could, minus two birthdays, which I will forever be upset with myself about, but it's been a ton of fun. But there really isn't anything more for me to show. I mean, there's some updates here and there that add new items and whatnot, but unless there's like a substantial update that adds like a new holiday or whatever, I don't really see myself doing another video. I'll be playing this game on and off because I still want to work on my island and who knows, maybe in the future I will do another video when things are quote unquote complete to me. Like when I complete the rest of the, uh, the museum or decorate the island and house as I want it to look. But for now, I feel like this is a good time to end off this series. So I think I think now, with all of that said and done, I really hope you've enjoyed this series. It was an interesting thing to do. Just uh, do or keep track of my progress, especially as like when the game first came out. It was really fun, and it still has been a ton of fun with each video I've made. But it's time to put this chapter to a close. So... Thank you all so much for watching, and see y'all next time. Not for this, actually. I can't say next time, but uh, see y'all for whatever. Again, I hope you enjoyed this series, because I, I really enjoyed it. Okay, let's leave Aerith.